very, very friendly. He's a very big man. Yeah, he touched me on four occasions, and with experience from working with police, uh, if I just touch you without your permission, I could get arrested. Yeah, and that's deemed common assault. So I'm putting a claim in against this man for common assault, please. I mean, we're here to. You Don't you touch me. If you touch me, you have to film me. Well, yes, I have. I've got every right. right. I've got every right. You're being recorded yeah, right I'm now, sir. Don't touch me. That's assault. I will make a statement. That's assault. You continue filming me. That's assault. That is assault. That's not right to film me. You touch me. Not the police. Yes, I'm the police. No, give me that. No, give me that. No, give me that. No, you're going to hit me. No, I'm an officer of the court. I mean, we're here to you said you want to make a complaint against police. Well, I, I, actually, I said to you on the phone I'd like to make a criminal complaint and I'd like to make a complaint against the officer who refused to, uh, well, I think the term may be malfeasance or misfeasance, which is um, I, knowingly or unknowingly failing to carry out his duty. Right, so what? what? What do you want to complain about? Uh, well, the fact that uh, he didn't even speak to me. He didn't even come over to me. I said, well, what, what are you doing? I've got this all on video. Uh, I said to him, so, so what are you doing? Because the, the, the lady was uh, t speaking to my neighbour two doors up, and he was just standing there with his arms folded. So I said, sir, why are you not busy? Could you please come and talk to me? I've got a, a criminal complaint I'd like to give. To which uh, he just smiled at me and looked at his feet, which I found quite strange, and then the uh, WPC, I think it is, I, I don't know, um, actually said uh, that I, I, w I was obstructing her, and she was threatened to arrest me, which I, which I think is uh, Section 5 of the Public Order Act, is it not? Uh, using words or threats that may cause alarm or distress, when all I was trying to do was actually um, make a complaint against this man, Mr. Marshall. Yeah, who says he can't read, but he can perfectly read, he can write, but he can't read, who refused to show me his ID. So uh, my, my question is, like, uh, A, why did the police turn up and speak to him when he wasn't the one who called them? Yeah, and if you're telling me that he was the one that was called them, I'd like to see the record of who phoned first, whether it was Andy Gill or Mr. Marshall. It's a OY09TEO. It's a Ford Ranger pickup truck. No, T E O. No, I'm not. No, I don't live here. I'm living at Pirates Lane. I've just given a chap. I've just given a friend of mine lift back round here. And the bailiff, the court bailiff, here is trying to get something out of his house. And he's taking the keys out of my car. He won't give me back. He's broke my camera. And he's threatened me. Uh, Gill. Yeah, I have, yeah, but I got cut off because he was trying to take the camera off me and I'm supposed to press the wrong button on the phone. It is, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, my friend borrowed my camera to go out of the car and try to film him and he snatched the camera, so he's advising me we're, he, we're not allowed to film him in public. When I know that, I know for a fact that is totally wrong. You can film anybody you like, but we're not on private land, right in the street. It's a Ford Ranger pickup truck. Black. He sat in the truck now, he's got my car keys and he won't give me back. Right. I'm not aggravated. He sat, he, sat he sat in his truck looking at me, I've got a camera trained on him now, if it's still working on it. He's sort of sorry now, but. But he's took the keys out of my truck. I'd ride my Suzuki Jeep. Do you want me to stay on the line or do I get off or what? Right, okay, thank you very much. Cheers. Sort of shoot yourself in the foot, sir. Give that his recording. The first thing I'm going to ask the police officer to do yeah. is take that and view the video evidence. That's my identification. That's all that you need to see. Bye bye. I haven't committed a crime. You go in, are you? going to give me back my keys? That's why I'm here from the court to the wallet for you. You're in the shit, mate. No, You're doing a do fucking porridge. No, not, yes, you are. No, Attacking me. Right, it's a public order offence. Section 4. Section 4. You continue.
Give me the video, Kevin. No, absolutely not. Section 4, Section 5, Public Order Act. Oh, here they come. Then I want to know how your two constables, what, what proof that they had that he was executing a court warrant when this is all he's got. Okay. So I think there's deception there as well, or it could be preventing the course of justice because he's obstructing. The, that is not not obstruction of the constable by lying to them and telling them that they something he's not. And therefore, your constables quite rightly said, "Well, he's a court officer." So we're going to let it go. I can understand where they're coming from, but really, uh, I understand they're using their discretion and everything, but surely they should have seen some proof at least, yeah, rather than just using their discretion. Okay, right. As I said to Mr Gill yesterday, I'm quite happy that the officers who attended conducted a, an investigation that was adequate and proportionate. Were you there, sir? No, it wasn't. Then I was how do you know? I've spoken to the officers and I read the report. Oh, you, you read the report. Have you seen any of the video footage of them acting correctly? I haven't seen the video footage. I don't, I don't need to. Oh, uh, why not? I don't really want to go into that. Well, I? sir, I don't consider...